Hello, I'm going to teach you something very special today. This is what I'm going to teach you. It's good for lay people, for kindergarten and for PhD and even more. It's not in the patent business yet. Okay? So, measuring how much water, how much fluid moves on this court. I'm going to teach you, you can have projects from the kindergarten to PhD and you can make patents. You can make some millions and help me make some billions or at least enjoy the plants. We're going to have a look here. First, we have some information the tubarkblogspot.com. If you click measuring and saturate hydraulic flow, you get a complete information about what I'm going to teach you now. What we are going to do is a water balance and is a measuring and saturated hydraulic flow. How does it work? It works the following. We have here a plant. We are going to measure how much water is moving per time throughout the rope. Unsaturated hydraulic flow is the amount, is the K, is the amount of water volume millimeter cubic per area millimeter square per time second. We have here the pot designed especially for you. The cord is here and we need to know the diameter of this cord. We're going to take three millimeters. So the radius is going to be 1.5 millimeters here. We calculated this. We are going to make this uh, assumption because the water varies. Depends on the plant, depends on the weather, depends on many conditions. So we're going to assume uh, 24 millimeters per day or 480 ml per 16 day, 1 ml per hour. We have the volume 1 ml per hour, it gives you 1 centimeter cubic centimeter, 1000 cubic millimeter. So the area there is 2 times pi times the square radius. It's 2 times 3.149 times 1.5 square. The result here is 14.14 millimeter cubic, uh, sorry, squared millimeter. The time is 1 hour, 3,600 seconds. The final hydraulic conductive for this example here will be 1,000 uh, cubic millimeter by 14.14 uh, square millimeter by 3,600 seconds. The final result is 2. 0.02 millimeter per second is the same as 1.18 millimeter per minute. So easily you can constantly gauge the fluid move on Dimax. And I tell you, my patent is the first to do this on artificial pyroids. I'd be glad if more patents come around and you learn more about the system, water, soil, and plant. Bye bye.